The Aptychistic Science Fair program starts in September and we had over 80 students initially participating. This past Wednesday, 45 of those students who had made that commitment over the months presented their science fair projects to judges who used a state rubric to evaluate them and then later on to the public who came to additionally hear about their projects. Students are able to pick their own topic entirely on their own and we encourage them to pick something that they really like because they're going to have to stick with it for about five months. I know that wind power is a huge part of our future and it's going to be a big part of saving our environment, saving the earth. Plastic pollution is a really big growing problem and scientists have created alternatives for conventional plastics. So I tested these alternatives and saw which decomposed the fastest. That natural exploration that they had as young children, we want them to continue. We want them to ask the questions, how does this work? What impacts it? How can I change this for the future? How can I understand more of the science? And that's what they can do from Science Fair. I did something that affects like people in daily life, so now I know what type of sanitizer to use. I discovered that I really enjoy chemistry and I enjoy seeing how chemicals react and understanding bonds. So there are three advisors here, myself, Mrs. Hawley, and Ms. Fabry, and we divide up all of the projects between the three of us so that we can more be more timely and more intimately involved with what the students are doing. I know how to write in a formal scientific manner because of Science Fair. And I learned that I can expand and grow in my presentation skills. If students can get through our program, about 75% of them go beyond the regionals to the state level. Mm -hmm.